You're hitting the piano and you should never hit a piano. You're hitting the piano and you should never hit a piano. You're hitting you're hitting you're hitting the piano and you should never hit a piano. You're hitting the piano and you should never hit a piano. You're hitting the piano. You're hitting the piano and you're hitting the piano and you should never hit a piano. No, and you should never hit a piano. No, and you should never hit a no, and you should never and you should know 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 and you should never hit a piano. He said, actually, all you've got to do in order to play a piano is to drop your hands on it. And you need to have relaxed arms. So he made me practice for a while. He felt my muscles to see whether I was relaxed or not. And he said, now just drop your hand on the piano. I don't care what notes you hit, but just drop your hand. Let it fall. He said, there's enough energy in the weight of your arm to play as loud as you will. Arm. To play as loud as you will. Arm. To play as loud as you will. 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 Play as play as loud as you will. Play as loud as you will. Play as loud as you will. 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 Or as soft as you will. But just let it drop. He said, "That's all you have to do. Drop your hands." And he kept feeling my arm. He said, "No, no, you're getting too tense. You must pretend you are loud, sir. You must pretend you are loud, sir." You must pretend you are loud, sir. Yes. You must pretend you are loud, sir. And uh, he was a very educated man. He knew about this. And uh, <laughs> and uh, he was a very educated man. He knew about this. And uh, <laughs> and uh, he was a very educated man. He knew about this. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then he said, now, after dropping your hands, uh, all you've got to do is to hit the right notes. <laughs> then he said, now, after dropping your hands, uh, all you've got to do is to hit the right notes. <laughs> Then he said, now, after dropping your hands, uh, all you've got to do is to hit the right notes. <laughs> then he said, now, then he said, now, then he said, now, after dropping your hands, after dropping your hands, 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 uh, all, uh, all you've got to do is to hit, got to do is to hit the right notes. <laughs> and, he, and he said, you know, uh, the same thing is involved in making a very complex trill. And he demonstrated, he just dropped his hand on the piano, and at the same time, his fingers went flip, like that. And there was this magnificent uh, ornamentation. Uh, then we went on, we practiced this for some time. He said, now let's get around to hitting the right notes. And uh, he found immediately I had a block on reading music, 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 on reading music. Because when I was a small boy and studied piano uh, at the age of roughly eight, I had a pestiferous teacher who was a mistress in this private school I went to in England. And she used to sit beside you and hit your fingers with a pencil every time you made a wrong note. Uh, 
Gregory Bateson, I think, was taught piano and as a child in such a way. And he has a total block on, and he has a total block on reading music. I mean, he's got a brilliant mind, you know, he's a mathematician, a great anthropologist, ethnologist, and so on. He has a total block to reading music. And so this man had to teach me to overcome my block. He said, now, uh, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, feel perfectly free to make mistakes. He said, you, everybody's going to make some mistakes, and it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. And if you do make a mistake, uh, don't don't go back and do it over again, but 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 just go on, 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 go on. So play, so play, so play as slowly as you like. Don't hurry. Just so long as you keep the relative rhythm, the relative value of the thing. Go slow. Take it easy. Go slow. Take it easy. Go slow. Take it easy. 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 Another thing is to not to pay so much attention to the notes, notes, to the notes, but to the distances or intervals between them, because that is the significant jump. And this sort of overcomes to the difficulty of key signatures. Well, we we start out with as learn we started out learning music with this weird system that the lines on the stage uh, really represent the major scale of C. instance this man although but you see in this instance this man although he was a great perfection but you see in this instance this but you see in this instance but you see in this instance but you see but you see but you see in this instance this man although he was a great perfection but you see in this instance this man although he was a great perfectionist and was highly and was highly and was highly skilled 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 He used intelligence, first of all, to give you a shortcut. And then he also used relax, uh, relaxation, relaxation, relaxation to enter into, enter into, enter into, enter into, enter into, enter into, enter into a difficult thing by the easiest route. In 
Zen in Zen train then train then train then training then training then training then training then training then training then 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 training then then train then then training then then train then then training in its in its initial stages in its initial stages Master disaster discourages intellectualization. Master discourages intellectualization. Master discourages intellectualization. You know, you come in with a lot of ideas, but uh, this difficulty you have is not going to be solved by ideas. It's not going to be solved by talk and intellectualization. So in the same way, uh, this is discouraged. Master discourages intellectualization. You know, you come in with a lot of ideas, but uh, this difficulty you have is not going to be solved by ideas, it's not going to be solved by talk and intellectualization. So in the same way, uh, this is discouraged, because intellectualization sets up a kind of interval of lack of, lack of, ra lack of rapport, lack of rapport. Back of rap, 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 you think about things so much that you get into the state where you're eating the menu instead of the dinner, instead of the dinner, instead of the dinner. You're valuing the money more than the wealth, valuing the money more than the wealth more than valuing the money more than the wealth. You are valuing the money more than the wealth. You are valuing the money more than the wealth. Valuing the money more than the wealth. You are confusing, as Korzybski would say, the map with the territory. And what they want to do is to get you into the territory, to get you into relationship with what is, as distinct from ideas about what is. This is an important preliminary discipline. But, 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 Thoughts in their own domain are as real as rocks. Words have their own reality. And this is an important preliminary discipline. 
But later on, you can realize that the process of thinking is also what is. Thoughts in their own domain. Thoughts in their own domain. Thought. Thoughts. Thoughts in their own domain are as real as rocks. Ox. 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 Words. Words. Words have their own reality as much as sky and water. Thoughts about things, thoughts about things, thoughts about things are in them their own turn, are in them their own turn, things, and things, 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 and things, 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 and so they lead you eventually to the point where you intellectualize and think, 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 in an immediate way. Let's go on and ask then a further problem. How about thinking about thinking? Wouldn't that be pretty far off? Here is a person removed from life because he's in the intellectual world and he's all in a living in symbols. He's a kind of a, a kind of a living bookworm. Kind of a living bookworm. Kind of a 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 living bookworm. Now what about a librarian? <laughs> a person who writes books about books. A bibliographer, uh, a classifier of classification. That's a pretty dusty occupation. And as we know, uh, sometimes librarians seem to be very dusty people. They, uh, seem way removed from life. All tied up in their categories and catalogs and muffins and muffins. And, 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 uh, 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 that too, 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 you see, it's uh, also its own level of reality. Too, 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 you see, it's uh, also its own level of reality. 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 And thinking about thinking. Can be lived with just as much direct threat. 
can be lived with just as much direct, fresh, fuck, fresh, 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 In order to live it, in order to live it, with full spot, 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 You have to be in a position. You have to be, you have to, you have to be, you have to be, you have to, you have to be, you have to be, you have to be in a position, position. Where you know, where you no longer feel, where you no longer feel, where you no longer feel the simple, the simple, the simple thought, the idea, the word. As a block, 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 as
is the same process exactly as breaking up the links between the successive moments. The illusion of a self, a continuing self that travels from moment to moment and picks them all up. Corresponding to the illusion of the moving water in the wave and the moving li the, the, the solid circle created by the moving cigarette point in the dark. This is the meaning then that there is no one who perceives anything. This is the meaning then. This is the meaning then that there is no one who perceives anything. No one who experiences anything. There is simply seeing and experiencing. There, we, we introduce all these redundancies through talk. We talk about seeing sights, hearing sounds, feeling feelings. All that is irrelevant. There are sights, there are sights, there are sounds, there are sounds, there are feelings. There are feelings. You don't there are feelings. You don't feel a feeling. There are feelings. You don't feel a feeling. You don't feel a feeling. The feet you don't feel a feeling. You don't feel a feeling. You don't feel don't feel don't feel a feeling. Feel a feeling. Feel a feeling. Feel a feeling. The feeling itself already contains the feeling of it. <laughs> you see? That's very simple. To have sight, you don't need something to be seen on the one hand, and a seer of something to be seen on the other. And then some some mysterious way they come together. The seer and the seen, the knower and the known, the, the, the seer and the seen, the, the seer and the seen, the knower and the known, are what we call terms. Terms mean ends. And they are what in mathematical language are called limits. Now, when we take a stick, 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 the stick has its two ends. The stick has its two ends. Ends. They are the terms of the stick. But the ends of the stick do not exist as sort of separate points, they are the terms of the stick. But the ends of the stick, but the ends of the stick do not exist, do not exist, do not exist, do not exist, do not exist as sort of separate points, as sort of separate points which encounter each other on the other on the occasion other on the other other, other on, on the occasion of, me of meeting at a sting at a stick stick <laughs> they are actually abstract points the ends themselves considered as themselves are purely geometrical they are euclidean imaginations the reality is the stick you see so in the same way with that phenomenon called experience. The reality is not an encounter of the knower and the known. The reality is an experience which can be termed as having two aspects, two ends, the knower and the known. But that's only a figure of speech. Neurologically, this is true. 
Everything that you see is yourself. What you are aware of is a state of your nervous system. And there is no other knowledge whatsoever. That doesn't mean that your nervous system is the only existing reality and that there is nothing beyond your nervous system. But it does mean that all knowledge is knowledge of you and that therefore in some mysterious way you are not different from the external world that you know. If you see then that what you experience and you are the same thing, then realize also, going beyond that, that you are in the external world you're looking at. <laughs> you see, I'm in your external world, you are in my external world. But I'm in the same world you are. My inside is not separable from the outside world. It's something the so-called outside world is doing. Just as it's doing the tree and the ocean and everything else that is in the outside world. Now isn't that great, you see? We've completely got rid of the person in the trap. The one who either dominates the world or suffers under it. It's vanished. It never was there. When, it, when that happens, you see, you can cry. Life game you want to. Link the past and the person and the future.